we transform whatever is. We transform our bodies, we transform our minds, we transform our surroundings, we transform the people we live with, we transform the world, we transform the universe, etc. through our state of being. So again, we're constantly already doing that. That surface, that transformation is not just happening when we're contemplating the one beyond existence or when we're resting as existence itself, the presence of consciousness or the presence of awareness which is existence, which is the reflection, the manifest reflection of the one beyond reflection, beyond experience. So either by that contemplation or by resting as awareness, as consciousness, as being, as surface, as surrender, as love, by recognizing that. It's not only through those recognitions that we transform our lives, we're constantly transforming our lives through our frequency of being, through our state of being. And so when you are seeing or contemplating something that's really disturbing to you, then that is how you're sharing life. That's how you're transforming life, to become a closer reflection of that disturbance. So whatever we contemplate, whatever we recognize, whatever we, our devotion, wherever our devotion lies, that's how our lives start to transform and more and more reflect, become a physical or form reflection of the formless essence of being, or the beyond form and formlessness. It starts to become a closer reflection of that one light. So you're already constantly in service of yourself, in service of the rest of yourself. Through yourself, you are constantly in service of the rest of yourself, constantly, 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 constantly. There's not a single second, not a single billionth of a second that you're not serving the rest of yourself in one way or the other. You're always being in service. So how you define yourself, how you define your experience, how you feel about yourself, determines the quality of that surface, determines the quality of the energy that you emit, that you emanate, that you send out in a way. Send out is part of the illusion, but for lack of a better word, the energy you send out to the rest of yourself comes from your state of being, comes from how you're defining yourself what you're believing about yourself, how you're describing yourself, what you're feeling about yourself right now, or about your life. How you're feeling determines how you're seeing things and thus how you're acting in the world and what you're attracting to yourself and what you're bringing out in other people, etc. So at any given moment, you are already completely unified in service to yourself, constantly. Realizing that all of that is the rest of yourself, what would you want for yourself? and then be the surface of that frequency, of that energy, of that attitude, of that state of being, of that contemplation, of that realization. What would you want for yourself, the entirety of yourself? Name something, name a word. Peace. What would you want? Peace. Would it help the rest of yourself, realizing that you are a constant, unified, inseparable surface of all of the rest of yourself, all of the rest of yourself? Realizing that you are in constant service of that, every billionth of a second, doop, 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 you're sending out something to the rest of yourself. And if peace is what you want for all of yourself, if it is what you want for yourself, because yourself is all there is, then just be mindful or be aware of the times when you're sending out judgment, complaint, dissatisfaction, uh, judgment, but uh, I said that, right? judgment is a frequent one. Just be mindful of what you're sending out and then seeing that you are being of service in a negative way in the sense which is still ultimately speaking in service to the light or to the holy positive which is not the opposite of negative but which is the unified embrace of all that is and learning the one learning about itself through the manifest. Everything is in service of that so inevitably even negativity is in service of the one gathering experience learning about itself. So you cannot never serve the one. But how you go about and do that, how efficiently or how in alignment with the things that really resonate for everyone, that determines, that's determined by the energy that you embody. So seeing that you're constantly in service to yourself, knowing that what you want for yourself is peace, love, etc. See how you're not being that, see how you're not giving that to yourself. When you're complaining about a circumstance, you're complaining about yourself. You're giving out the energy of complaint to yourself. That's your being of service in the form of the energy we call complaint or whatever it may be. 
doubt, fear, which are all fine. They're all beautifully inseparable from the tablecloth. They're all the essence of love. So they're all already loved at all times. All your tendencies, all your emotions are inseparable from the one love, the one existence. So don't worry about not having these emotions or not sending out complaint every once in a while. Because on the human realm, it's only to be expected. I complain sometimes. It's to be expected. It happens. But just to be mindful of how you're being of service in that sense already changes it. To have an awareness of how you're serving right now and an awareness of what you really want to experience for yourself, for all of yourself, that naturally changes your frequency into one that's in closer alignment with the truth of your being, the truth of your unity.